how else can you limit the amount of devices coming into your lab and focus on the ones that are relevant for your investigations? Triage. In the past, there's been no real effective way to conduct mobile triage. Uh, triage has been around for computers, but for mobile devices, it hasn't really been effective. Mobile tools in the past have merely just scraped the surface. With Celebrate Insights powered by UFED, uh, this new technology changes the game. What it does is provide you triage capabilities, but at escalated privileges. So not just partial access, what we've seen in the past. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Triage is conducted based on profiles that are created, custom profiles that can be created at agency level and published through Commander or at the endpoint level using the offline tool. It's very simple to create these uh, profiles. Uh, with the tool, it's um, walk you through this, you create the profile. Uh, add details about it. I'll quickly fill this in. Once the information at the detail level is uh, created, you can start adding your criteria. Take a note, you can actually add passwords to this as well. So if you have search criteria or triage criteria that's, let's say, sensitive to investigation that you don't want to share with everyone, uh, you can enable a password that's not available for everyone. Uh, different types of criteria you can add are either IMEI, MZ, user account information, installed applications, locations, phone numbers, and email. More and more information is going to be added to this and uh, added different types of profiles you can add. So this list is just going to grow. We're going to start with, uh, let's go with the IMEI number. Since I have a suspected number, uh, IMEI number for the, the uh, major kingpin, I'll add that as a major, use, uh, major severity uh, on the severity scale. I could stop there or I could just keep on going and add additional information. So I'm just gonna add actually another and I'll add an email, but this time I'm gonna add it as a, uh, as a minor uh, severity on the severity score that maybe it's just unconfirmed. And how about a telephone number? We'll do a telephone number as well. At this point, you can save this profile and uh, let's uh, take a look at the device. Once access is gained to the device, the triage scan option is going to be available at the bottom. Simply just press that button and it's going to initiate the triage scan based on the profiles that are loaded. As you can see, the illicit drug profile that I created is there. You can also tap over to the content view to see what kind of information that it's scanning for. Uh, this can be relevant if you have multiple profiles looking at once uh, to see what kind of information that it's scanning. Once the scan is completed, as you can see, it took a minute to scan the, the device. Uh, you have one major hit and one, uh, and one minor hit in that profile that I created. You have the option to save the extraction. So I could save the extraction of the, the positive hits. And then also save the report. So a report that you can hand off to an investigator to pursue other leads. And then from here, you have the option to go right back to, the, to finish the triage scan and come back to the main screen. If let's say there is no hits and there, this device was not of, uh, of interest, you can just finalize and move on. Uh, in this case, let's say if I wanted to continue with the extraction, I could just conduct the extraction normally as I did before, or push it through Streamline to Physical Analyzer uh, to continue the investigation that way. But again, this is just one simple way and one easy way to be able to, to limit the devices coming into your lab because you know what's in those. Before we finish off, uh, let's take a look at that little report that, that's generated. So as you can see, all that information, the actual source of where that information is coming from, whether it's a major or minor hit, uh, the email, the telephone numbers, all that information that's there. So keep in mind is this information becomes available to you from the device and irrelevant with status, whether it's a, uh, a this, in this case, this device was locked, but in a few state, and I was still able to access that data. So kind of keep that in mind uh, when triaging devices. Right? Triage in the past was quite different when we had to deal with devices that were unlocked and accessed this way, whereas now you can do this uh, even on a locked device. So in closing, uh, the new feature of triage is gonna change how mobile triage is done. Since you're actually getting full access to the device to effectively take a look at it to see if it is relevant for your investigation or not.